One of the things I have been doing um, when I haven't run my bike is a little bit of 3D printing. Um, I bought this about 18 months ago. Um, it's made by Creality. It's the Ender 3. I'll put a link in the description below. It's pretty much the gold standard for home um, 3D printing if you're just sort of a, a hobbyist and want to have a play. Um, the quality of the, some of the prints you can get is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this vase here is uh, 3D printed on on here um, and I've used it mostly just for bits and bobs, rubbish, um, a few useful things um, but essentially all it's doing is um, you buy a real plastic, this is a type of plastic called PLA, uh, it's about £15 uh, and you can print a hell of a lot of stuff with that. Um, it feeds into this um, tube here where um, it's pushed through uh, this part which is called the hot end, it comes out through a nozzle there and then it just deposits the melted plastic into the formation of the thing that you want to print. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's loads of other videos online about how this is working. Um, and uh, just from this very, very cheap, cheap machine, I think it's 180 quid, um, you can get some phenomenal um, quality of prints. This is a lithothane which I printed, which is actually a uh, sort of uses the thickness of the of the plastic itself to build up an image um, and that was all printed on this straight out of the box that's a stock stock uh, printer there so the real wahoo mounts are about 15 to 20 quid each and when i actually got my wahoo the pin was missing from the the hinge in the mount luckily the customer service is very good and they did send me a new one but i thought this would be quite quite a cool example of something you could print or if you've got multiple bikes you know for fraction of the price of, of a real mount, you could print your own. I printed three different styles of mount. This one here is a bit like the, the Hincorn which came with the Wahoo. It doesn't have a hinge, it's just got two small M4 bolts holding holding it together. Still got the aero, aero design. Uh, you can see the bolts there. Second, I printed sort of two versions of this. Uh, one which acts uh, as a spacer and the other which acts as a top cap this one here yeah, which is as a top cap I'm not confident that I want to ride on my bike with that holding my front together but you know that's one option and then the third one here is GoPro Wahoo mount combined again this sort of sandwiches together the two parts around the bars using those M4 bolts and I've just repurposed an actual GoPro mount there. It did take me a couple of prints to get sort of satisfactory quality. You can see this one on the left there's a little slight gap where the part hadn't fused properly together and even on the one on the right which I ended up using still wasn't quite right. Um, so particularly with that type of mount there be careful using it. On the GoPro one as well I did struggle a little bit to manage to get those three little um, dividers which the, the mount goes on to be um, secure and reliable but you could always print uh, with a higher um, infill density to make them stronger. All the parts fitted pretty well to be fair no issues with any of the um, parts not fitting onto the Wahoo well or any concern that they might fall off they all had a bit of a satisfying click so you, you knew it was on just like with the real one. Maybe not quite as smooth with any of them, but completely fine. Each of the mounts fitted onto the bike perfectly and had no concerns really with any of them that either they were going to fall off or the Wahoo was going to fall off while riding. Obviously I printed these in white, which might not be to everyone's taste, but you can get the plastic in pretty much any colour. It just happened to be that I had white in the machine when I started this. You can see here I did have a bit of an incident when taking the GoPro uh, mount off of the bike. It, it did snap. I had printed them with relatively low 
infill density and you can print them with more plastic in them just to make them a little bit stronger. For the two mounts which you get, which act as a spacer or as a top cap, I would absolutely just not use it, um, not use a 3D printed version of that type of adapter. Uh, even at 100% infill, I wouldn't feel confident riding on a home printed part. But for the other two pieces, I think for the cost of 20p, they worked brilliantly. Uh, would be interesting to see how long they would last and how durable they would, would be uh, over the course of a, a year or two's riding. I expect probably not quite as good as the real uh, as the real thing, but for a second bike or a commuter bike, for 20 or 30p per piece, I really don't think you can really complain. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about the pieces or 3D printing in general, please just comment below and I'll get back to you. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.